Hello, my name's Ian Softley. I'm looking for £200,000 for a 40% stake in the business. I'd like to introduce you to Steplock. Steplock is a unique replacement for the door bolt, which has been around in various forms for thousands of years. I'll just show you how it works. On, off. Very, very simple. If I show you on here now, you'll see even more simply how it works. This is a very, very basic mock-up of your front or your back door. Please excuse it. This is your door bolt. I'm sure we've all scubbed our knuckles on them a few times because they go out of shape, they go out of line, they don't work properly. This is your typical door chain. That works better. But in actual fact, neither of them work very well at all because they're only as strong as these two screws. And when some big nasty burglar wants to kick your door down, believe you me, they'll get past that. The step lock is now on. It doesn't fit to the door at all, so it doesn't destroy your door. It actually stops the door there. Now, you might think that looks flimsy, it's actually based on the A-frame principle, which is one of the strongest things known to man. And so far, we have been unable to break it. We've never found a test that would break it. That's the step lock. Any questions? I'd like to hear them. Can I have a look at it, Ian? Sorry. Yes, certainly. Ian Softly needs £200,000 to mass produce his step lock, which he's pitching as a more secure alternative to standard door bolts. But Richard Farley has already been used by Ian's confident claims. Hi, Ian, I'm Richard. Hello, Richard. You said that a burglar could break that quite easily. I guess, really, the burglar protection is, a, is the, basically the main lock. It's not these peripheral things, is it? Good point. That's Which is much stronger right. than a few screws, so I don't really follow that part of your presentation. OK, okay well, you have to then talk to um, crime prevention officers and people like that that know about crime and how it happens. Ian, sorry, sorry. what Richard's talking about is a mortise lock, OK? Yes. Now, if there's a mortise lock on, yes. surely it's stronger than your lock. Most mortise locks are strong and they're good enough to keep burglars out, except when they've got a key. And in this day and age, they're clever. So yours, have... yours is particular protection against a burglar who happens to have a key to my front door, for example? Yeah. OK. Yeah, probably. I need to look at that because I, well, I don't understand. I <laughs> thought you put that on when you were in the house. Can I have a look at it? Well, I, I, that's the one way around it. Well, it's, it's, uh, look at the one that you've got, you've brought here today. Yes. But if I've gone out, this is inside of the door. Yep. If I've gone out, yep. I can't put this on, can I? That's correct. OK, so a burglar with a key can come in anyway. Yes, that's correct. We just did a... It's a bad start for Ian. He's quickly faltered under the scrutiny of Duncan Bannatyne and Richard Farley. Peter Jones wants to inspect the step lock more closely. Can I have a look at the door? Yeah. The lock. I wish you wouldn't use it as an example. I'm only showing you because of the action. That's all. Because the action is so new, there isn't anything else like this, you see. The bolt has been around for years. Are you saying that somebody couldn't kick through that? Um, we've never found a way that you can oh, kick Peter, through you're not going to kick through it, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this, this is not a door. This is just an example of how the mechanism works. It's There's a, you must remember that... That's only just, three punches. Yes, but this is just to show that action. And I've only got one screw in it as well. I did explain that earlier. Why didn't you bring something that we could test? Ian's rudimentary model has done him no favours. The dragons don't agree on much, but one thing that does unite them is their hatred of poor preparation. I can't invest in something like this. And £200,000, I think you've made a big fatal error there. You would have done far better to have said, look, I'm on a wing and a prayer, I want £10,000 today to give that a go. No, £200,000? To give it a go, we need to retool. We need to protect it for yeah. 20 years, and I can do that. But Ian, it's... Don't, don't do it. Don't waste your time on this. There I can't invest, so I'm out. Ian has lost his first dragon. Duncan Bannatyne isn't going to let the matter lie either. Why didn't you bring us a well-fitted, well-made 
small door as an example instead of that one. I haven't had time to get one made. I got let down by the first carpenter that I ordered. How long, how long have you been involved in this thing here, this invention? I've Tell been us involved with it for 20 years. 20 years, and you couldn't get a proper door frame it <laughs> up in 20 years. Okay. I mean, I know it's problems getting a carpenter, but it's not that bad. It's actually been on the shelf since 1992. You haven't looked at this project for 15 years? So every now and again, I've picked it up. That actual one that's on there has been on about seven front doors of mine since 1991 stroke two. So, so I mean, what, what... it's not an ideal situation that I find myself in. I appreciate that. It's an extraordinary twist. Ian's revealed he's been working with the step lock since the early 90s. An astonished Theo Pafitis wants to know more. Just spend a minute telling us about Ian. OK, let me tell you how I bumped into Steplock, if I may, and then I'll explain who I am. Um, we sold about 40,000 of them in 1991. And we sold them for 9 99 And would you believe it, um, we sold and trusted 26,000 of those went to an agent in Scotland who was selling them off the page. And then he went bust on us. And that's why it's never been seen for the last 15 years. Did you sue him? We did everything that we possibly could, and uh, we traced him down to a house in Essex. Surely you went to Essex, you knocked on his door, and says, please, can I have you my 20 A-frames back? You <laughs> couldn't get in, because he, he had one of these. There was nobody he had one of there. these on his door. <laughs> there was nobody there. The dragon's momentary sympathy for Ian's plight has evaporated fast. Duncan Bannatyne has heard enough. The fact is that the more bolts you put on your door, the more a burglar's likely to come through the window. That's what a burglar likes to do is to ensure his escape route. Absolutely true. OK? This won't stop a burglar getting out. It might stop him getting in, but it won't stop him getting out, cos he just has to do that and he's out the door. It won't stop you getting out. No, it won't. That's right. So what householders should do, if they don't want to be burglars, put a mortise lock, go out, turn the key, put it in the pocket and carry on with the business. Hmm. And that will stop it, not this. So this is obsolete. I don't think you would ever sell any of these now. So I'm not going to invest, and so I'm out. OK, thanks for listening. Only three dragons are still in. Can Ian salvage his investment bid and persuade any of them to back him? I don't think you have enough faith in that product, and you haven't had enough vision, forethought, confidence, planning, all of the things that I would be looking for in when I want to invest in somebody and their product, so I'm afraid for that reason okay. I'm out. Let me tell you where I am. Right, you've come in asking for £200,000, a ridiculous figure, because actually you've got enough to go around showing people to see if you can get some orders. You've got stuff that's actually working prototype. You don't have to tool up straight away. You can try and get some orders. You can work out your lead time, where you're going to have them manufactured. You can do all that for very little money. So there's no investment opportunity for me. Take the advice and I'm out. Now only Richard Farley stands between Ian and imminent expulsion from the den. Ian, that just leaves me. Um, £200,000 is way too much to throw at something like this just to find out. Mm. But what you could do, if you're really keen to find out about this, is to go off to one of the people who manufacture these things and say, listen, I've got this idea, I've got it patented. Do you want to sell them? Just give me, you know, 50p for each one you sell. They know better than anybody whether this will work. Mm. So go to one of them and just license it to them. They will tell you straight away if it's any good and if your patent's worth anything. Okay. But for us, it's not worth putting in 200 grand to find out, so I'm out as well. That makes That's all of us. Thanks and very thank much you for, for coming in. Thank you. It's all over for Ian. From the very beginning, he just couldn't convince the dragons his step lock had potential. Well, Ian, I'm imagining you're feeling quite frustrated at that. Well, um, yes, but uh, quite simply, my prop let me down. I shouldn't have bought it in the first place. Are you going to give this your full-time attention, or is it still going to remain in the drawer for another I few years? I haven't decided yet. A bit shell-shocked at the moment. Well done, anyway. OK. <laughs>